Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, if you're new, my name is Amanda. I do a lot of hair videos and beauty and hopefully travel in the new year. Uh, I also do book reviews, so I hope you stick around. I'm happy to have you. Today we're going to be talking about L'Oreal's Absolute Repair Cortex Lipidium. This is a great, great mask, uh, especially for damaged hair. Even if you don't have uh, a very damaged hair, this will help you a lot. Um, this is not a first impression video. I have been using this uh, mask for over a year. And it's actually still my first stuff. I can show you. As you can see, I still have a whole lot of it. So a little goes a long, long way. I usually use it once or twice a month, so not often at all because it has this restoring factor, so you do not want to use it too much because your hair will break off. So it does contain dimethicone, so again, another um, ingredient you should not be using every day for sure. So uh, what my hair stylist recommended was to use once a month and it has been working really well for me. So what I do is use only once or twice a month a restoring product, not always this one. So yeah, today I'm going to be uh, trying it on camera with you. I just washed my hair, as you can see it's towel dry. Please excuse these pieces, I cut bangs, so yeah, now I have that. So, we're going to be sectioning the hair. So it says to apply to towel dry hair and leave it for 3 to 5 minutes, so that's what I'm going to do. So yeah, I always try and divide my hair into fours. That way you can make sure every single strand is coated. So as you can see, I just took a little bit and start at the ends and make your way up. This is a very, very dense mask. You do not need a whole lot at all. Uh, it sort of melts your hair, so that's really, really good. Oh, no. Um, because you put like the littlest amount and it really gets into your hair, as you can see here. The back part. Uh, it feels very, very soft. I had uh, combed through my hair before, just because otherwise this would be a mess. And I bring it sort of high in my hair because I know my texture and it does better like that. And I will apply it to my bangs because that's what my uh, hairstylist recommended. That I always apply conditioner to my bangs, especially at the beginning because they need some way to go to the front. Mm, so yeah, I think we'll stop here. I'll put my hair up. And I'll just use a clip to keep it in place. And I'll just wait for five minutes and come back. So it's been five minutes and I'll let my hair down and rinse it. And come back to you when it's towel dried for my tops. I'm back. My hair is towel dried, so it's not like soaking and it's so, so soft. Uh, probably because it's not just restoring. Um, every good mask that has a restoring power, they usually put some hydrating and uh, nutritive um, ingredients, you know, like uh, linalol, it had um, wax, so it's sealing your cuticles and making the hair softer and easier to manage. Yeah, this is so silky as you can see, because my hair is usually very knotty. Yeah, so, so far so good. Another great tip is if you are applying this in the shower, make sure you get out of um, the shower head 
and really really press the water out because the water particles supposedly are bigger than um, the moisturizer so the moisturizer will not penetrate if your hair is soaking in full of water you need to press it like this and um, take out the excess before you apply the mask otherwise you're just wasting your time really so yeah I think I'll let it air dry for like five minutes more and then I'll come back and blow dry with you so now I would say it's 60% dry and I'll get to blow drying it So yeah, I look kind of crazy, especially before styling my bangs. But this is what I like the most about using a repairing mask, is that it leaves your hair almost a little stiff in a good way. Like it's still soft, but it has more weight to it, so it's it holds its shape. Yeah, this is... If you compare it to my last video where I was trying a drugstore uh, mask, you can really tell that it left my hair soft, but it was poofy. Like today is a lot less poofy because it's a repair mask, you know? So now I'll just um, style the rest, especially my bangs and these little pieces, and come back and share my final thoughts. So yeah, here's the finished look. Uh, I think it gives some shine to the hair. Oh yeah, here you can see. And you can definitely feel that there's still product in it, but it's not necessarily a bad thing. It just feels healthier, like, like seeing a face with makeup on. If the makeup is well done. And... It feels so so silky like to run your fingers through overall I think this is the best um, repair mask I have used because it has a great uh, price point for the high-end ones it lasts so so long the smell is very neutral and it still puts some hydration and uh, nutrition back into your hair, so it's not as stiff, you know, compared to the Kerastase uh, Resistance. That one is more stiff. So if you're just um, starting to build up your routine and want one repair mask, I definitely re recommend this one. I think it's a great uh, way to start treating your hair better. So yeah. And if you have very, very damaged hair, you can use it more often than me. But as you can see, my hair looks quite, quite healthy. Even like around my face where I usually get some breakage. So yeah, I have been using this for over a year and it has been great. Uh, as long as I don't use it more than twice a month. Uh, you don't want to build it too much because of repair and keratin, it will make you your hair a little stiff that's why they put other ingredients in it uh, they are more suited for hydration and nutrition so it kind of brings your whole hair back to life so yeah uh, so if you're looking for a good repair mask there's more high-end and definitely will treat your hair good I definitely recommend this it's definitely a good I think it's decently priced and it delivers a lot so yeah thank you for watching